Khalid Sheikh Mohammed hasn't been seen since the U.S. released this picture of him when he was captured in Pakistan five years ago. But he appeared in court Thursday, sporting a long white beard and thick glasses, and he also appeared noticeably thinner than he was when he was captured. The proceeding against him and four other key suspects in the 9-11 attacks has drawn dozens of journalists who are observing it all amid very tight security, and also criticism from some legal groups. Well, the commissions were a complete and utter farce. Today, the accused saw it for the farce that it is. Inside the courtroom, the judge warned Mohammed he and the other suspects faced the death penalty if convicted of organizing the 9-11 attacks. But Mohammed says he wants to be a martyr. Uh, let's put the evidence out there. Let Jim Rich has lost his it, son, a firefighter, it. in the attack on the World Trade Center. He says the suspects deserve to die. Well, I spoke to the prosecutors, and uh, they're down there, and they said they have mountains of evidence on these people. And I think if the evidence shows that they're guilty, you know, my son's never going to walk back in that door. And if the death penalty is what it takes, then that's what it is, because evil people like that are just kill, killing innocent people. A defense attorney, however, says Americans would be ashamed if they knew what was going on and the ramifications for the Constitution. I wear the uniform with pride. I am um, proud to be a member of the U.S. Navy, but I'm, I don't think these proceedings um, make for a proud day for any member of the service. The Supreme Court struck down the administration's use of military commissions in 2006. But Congress changed the law and resurrected them. Since then, the commissions have been mired in confusion. The fact now that there's no way to fix the military commissions, all we can do is pull the plug. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court is likely to be back in the picture this month when it rules on the rights of Guantanamo prisoners. Its decision could delay the proceedings or halt them altogether. Mike Gracia, the Associated Press.